Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss what is our Florida. As Steve comes back from his favorite place to recharge his batteries to find what is everyone's place to recharge their own batteries. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Tim Swyot, Kathy Cole, and Vaughn Eaters. Hey, gang, what's up? Hello. Hey, what's hello. happening? Oh, yeah. So I recently had a uh, trip to Florida. It's where I like to go. It's where I like to vacation, uh, kind of unwind, relax. We're going to talk about that after the break. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a travel thing. It could it could be, you know, hey, I just like to hang out in my backyard or in my man cave or or something like that. Or I like to go to my, you know, my favorite place, uh, you know, uh, the ABV Barrel Shop, something like that. Whatever it is, we're going to find out what is your Florida. We'll get to that after the break. For right now, Von Nieder said there's something we want to talk about. What is that, sir? There is. So, if you could spend a week in any store and without leaving, without any repercussions, what would it be? All right. You have to be in a store for a whole week. What would you like to be in? Okay. No repercussions either. I mean, you, no you repercussions. Know, you're, not, you're not. You're not paying for anything. It's you're. You're just in there. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. What store would you want to be in? Okay. This reminds me of a song by Glenn Phillips called Fred Myers. If you look okay. up Fred Myers, you know what I'm talking about. Glenn <laughs> Phillips so Fred Myers were a thing in Kentucky when I lived in Kentucky. Uh, uh, there, there there's a whole there. song about living in a Fred Myers. It's hysterical. It's great. You know, so it um, reminds me of the movie. Um, God, what was that goddamn movie? Where she had her baby in the Walmart and uh, she lived there. She lived in a Walmart. God, well, okay, I want to look that movie up. Hold on. Yeah, Come back. Was, yeah we're all waiting to hear about Go afterwards, too, in that one. So, I don't know. Yeah. But no, store, what I would... No, I've okay. got to tell you. It would be... Uh, uh, it's called Where the Heart Is. It was in 2000. And this girl... She named isn't that a chick flick? It is a, of it's course. 100% yeah. a chick flick. So, she has her baby in the Walmart. And then the Walmart gives her the money. And it's a whole thing. And no, that's not where I would want to live, but that was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. You'd like that yeah, one, no, Don I'm sure. That genre at that time, it, absolutely. Okay, okay. Now, I would choose the Neely Family Distillery gift shop is where I'd want to be in for a week. Okay. Not the store. Do they have food? Because you would die without some food. snacks. So they, they have, have some snacks. light snacks. They have light okay. snacks. I'm just asking. I have I have been there. Going on. Okay. I can drink the grain cereal, the dried distilled goods afterwards. Okay. Okay. Don't they have the meat from the farm? Yeah, yeah. got that yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. Uncooked. And I got a barbecue grill there too, so you can cook it up uh, behind there. Yeah. Okay. I'll just call uh, Jeff Kaplan. Maybe he'll come down and help a brother out. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. That's a good one. Tina Boonshine. And this is a good one. Yeah. It was good. That's like, they, I feel like that's the best answer and nobody's going to top it. But I was going to go to TJ Maxx because I can get all my designer things for very cheap that I like. There's food have, there. 
And they do have stacks at the at the checkout. Like, world area, yeah, world uh, market type of area. Yeah. They have crackers. They have they crackers. They got crackers. They have popcorn. Chocolate also. covered they almonds. Have, they have almonds and popcorn. Um, there's bedding in the back. I can steal some toys for my dogs. Like okay. TJ Maxx has everything. I'm gonna okay. be on a TJ Maxx. I think I'll just go to Target. I mean, <laughs> it's they got everything. So you can watch TV. You can play video games. You can. There's a full grocery store in Target. There's a full liquor department. So I don't know. I think if you got to spend a week in a place, at least you can uh, be entertained. They took the furniture. If, if you were bored well, enough, the furniture's back in now. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. furniture at Target. Yeah. Well, there is tiny yeah, furniture. Tiny. Yeah. Well, you can sleep in a baby bed for a week. Yeah. <laughs> You got the lawn furniture mattresses up. on the ground. I take my statement back. Once the lawn furniture goes up, now I'm an un- unsupervised husband. I'm not, uh, I-, I-, I cannot be faulted for my actions then. Uh, the alarm clocks will all go off at five minute intervals. That's for damn sure in that situation. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, any of the pillows with, uh, with letters on it will probably say penis or boner <laughs> or something like that. Okay. Uh, okay. And we'll have some fun. Um, yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be bad. Uh, unsupervised husbands and Target is a thing. Yeah, okay. no. and and the Hobby Lobby also. You guys be selling some shit. Oh, I hate that store. I hate oh. Hobby Lobby and Target. I don't ever want to go into one ever again. Really? Really? No. no. We, we, in a world where Walmart exists, you're you're, you're most hated stores. I'm Target. going to Walmart over Target. What? Oh my God! No, no. no. Not Target over Walmart. No. That's for damn sure. No, you're Walmart over, over Target. Target. No, and you're with no. me. No, you're Walmart against me. Is like oh, I'm still going to Target. They fancy your food there. Yeah, Unsupervised <laughs> children everywhere. I, I oh don't. My God. He runs Meth. the joy of those stores. He That's why I'm going there. Prostitution. The I don't want him to come. Exactly. So I'm just kind of. He's like, "How did you spend two hundred dollars here?" I'm like, "I I don't know. Don't mind your business. You didn't come on you." So, in uh, fact, at Target with Starbucks, as long as you get a black coffee. You can get free refills. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but it's not the only Starbucks good. separate deal. Nobody okay. knows about it. Fun fact. Uh, so you get free refills for a week because uh, you haven't left the store. Technically. Right. You, still you get, get the free. icing machine. Well, there's, there's no repercussions yet. It's all free. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All free. Tar- I can't believe someone likes Walmart better than Target. Oh, yeah. It's cheaper. Not that either are good. <laughs> It's no, cheaper. it's worth the extra money. It's worth no. the extra money if you go. No, if if I'm public. spending extra money, I'm going to Schnucks. No, I'm going to Schnucks <laughs> yes. anyway. Okay, yeah. so I I I will defend him, and I only go to Walmart because it's five minutes from my. No, house. Like, that's, that's not a reason. Target Thank is thirty you. minutes no. from my house. You know, oh, there are people you. going barefoot. No, I go to the Walmart because it's five wow. minutes from my house, and it's well, so I know, and you can leave your carts wherever you want because that's what everybody at Walmart does. No, so, yeah, everybody does. Yeah. Yeah. You just I blend do in put there. My carts away. You do not. Away. You no, did that video, and you didn't even look like you knew how to put a cart in a crowd. Oh no, I she ran know. away as soon as she did that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You had no idea how to get it in the little cart. Oh my god! First time cart driver. Yeah, hundred percent. She had never done that before. There's okay. In in my defense, I rather go to neither one ever till the day yeah, like that's true yes i, I don't ever want to go to either one yes. but if you have to so, go to one you go to target you have to go to target if i have to go to one i go to schnooks that's what i'm telling you no, that's not if it's target versus walmart schnooks isn't the answer no it's it's, it's, it's a yeah. I don't trace all over the shelves Sorry. Yeah. I mean, come on, you is a different type of store. It's a it's a traditional grocery store. If you want like a hardware piece or or that, uh, you can't go to Schnucks. There's not. I mean, they have a small hardware. If I want a hardware piece. I'm going to Home Depot. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. If you want a one stop shop, it's Schnucks isn't the answer. It's time. I don't. I don't do that. I don't. I'm not a one stop shopper. I am. I, don't do that. I am, and that's why no, I go I'm a one stop shopper. It's called Amazon. Right? You don't go to yes. any of these. Well, things. this is true. Oh, it's cheaper, and, also, and they ship it right to you. There's, so I, I always go to the self-checkout, and the self-checkout guy, he's like 70, and he loves me, and we always have lovely conversations. And I oh, like to talk to the nice. old man at the self-checkout at the Walmart, and that's why oh. I sold Walmart. I never do the self-checkout. That's how they get you. Oh, my gosh. They don't no, it, it. No, it's no, it's no, it's self-checkout. Because they're so stolen, the they, they put warrants on that. it. And everybody at that same time frame, at the, at all at the same time. <laughs> no. I love a self-checkout. self-checkout. I bag no. my shit and I'm going it. there with my 50 items and I'm self-checking out every damn one no, of them. No, not at Schnucks. I, they I busted down you. on that. Yeah, I, they're tired well, of it. Guess what? I still do it. No, you don't. 
Okay. I, 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 I'll, I I'll you out of there. And they just did it this week. No, uh, I'm calling. I'm calling uh, Schnooks on you. Then, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You'll be good. Yeah, I'll tell him to fuck off. Yeah. And I'm going to provide this show as evidence. Going upstairs bags. Downstairs, yeah. going downstairs bags. I bag my shit different. It's fine. I bag. You my know stuff. what? They're going to support me because I go to Schnooks over Target and Walmart. You guys are over here. I go to Schnooks too. Supporting those guys. Grocery stores. Can we please just start drinking? I'm the only sh- stores I go to well, are hang Amazon on. and hang Schnooks. On. I like okay. going to Schnooks. AK, I, where are you I staying? I bag my own groceries. Yeah, I She's eating dinner. She doesn't give a fuck what we're doing. <laughs> Enjoy your Costco. Irish guacamole. Costco? That's a good answer. No. That's a great a, answer. No, that's a Steve, fucking so, cult. That's a cult. It so I said that. it to piss Steve off. It's a fucking cult. No, that's a great answer. So, originally, I was thinking Bass Pro because they have all the fun shit. You could be riding four-wheelers and stuff. You go... They have some food. Swim like beef jerky fish and, and catch you fish and stuff. Man. You just dive in there beef and bring jerky. your own fish? But they don't have any liquor. They no, don't have any no. liquor. So I changed my mind. I'm going to Sam's Club and I'm unboxing those go-karts and I'm riding those motherfuckers all through the aisles and drinking my liquor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm picking Sam's Club. No, not Costco. Sam's Boy. Club. He loves oh, everything Costco. Walmart. Sam's he loves Daddy everything Walmart. Walmart. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, he Sam's just loves Club. Walmart. Great. Yeah, we'll keep our Costco. That's fine. Oh, Costco. Costco's a cult. Costco's a cult. You don't want to go there. I'm a Sam's member again. I fucking love Sam's because it's five yeah. minutes from my office. So they're like, "Do you want to go to the office today?" I'm like, "No," but I absolutely want to go shopping afterwards. And I go. Why do you want to go to Sam's? You're in a house with two people. I don't yeah, understand. They have, dogs. The dogs. They have normal size stuff. They have dogs. No, they don't. Don't go to Sam's. No, See, you don't even no. know. Like, the fucking kid weekend is so many more goddamn snacks than I would ever buy. Uh, like, it's the whole goddamn thing. Just go to Schnooks. Uh, like, Newt, define from have... your office. Five minutes from your office. Five minutes from your home. Schnooks is your yeah, traditional five... grocery store, Steve. Uh, my, my job <laughs> asked me to go to the office on Wednesdays. So I'm like, okay. I don't want to do that, but I leave at like three and then I just go fucking shop the rest of the day at the Sam's Club. Perfect. <laughs> yep. No, um, do you f- I don't understand. Do you get gas at Sam's? No. no. Oh, God, no. It, don't it's always like Sam's. super crowded. I'm not. My wife it. does. I, d- I don't have the patience. I for only it. get gas no, at Costco. It's always so. No. <laughs> you don't have a life. You need a yeah, fucking only hobby. Get gas at Costco. Yeah, no, I, I wish I had the sort of time where I could go get gas at Costco. Send him your yeah. send him your upside thing. He'll go to Circle K from here on out. Exactly. Yeah. I only. Well, and then we'll both get paid. Morning. He's by my no house. No problems. There I go. That's have you ever up. seen the line at Costco? It literally starts on the highway. Getting yeah, if you're going in South County, County, it starts on the fucking highway, and, and it's backed up on the highway. Then you got to get all the way up the ramp and all that, and yeah, then you no. got to turn on Lindbergh. Which oh, is right. you go to San Diego, Costco, and then, and then, and then, and then you're still sitting in the there. St. Louis metro area, and I've had not happening. Clubs. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! Uh, it's it's terrible. And they need to they need to make that fucking Costco pay for that. They need to put uh, uh, officers out there directing that traffic, and they need to no, charge it really back. No, it's dumb. It's dumb. No, in the same same way, way. I like that line is the gas fun. line stretch. You need to go to Casey's where I can just pull in. I'm not waiting in a goddamn line. I went to uh, Bucky's on Saturday. My fucking! You do, they got a hundred pumps Wally's. all full with people lined up. Bucky, so uh, in, Bucky's. In, 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 oh, oh, oh! And you're uh, way home. Oh, yeah, we'll way talk home. about a cult. Was it shoulder to shoulder? Oh my god! Oh my god! In the whole store, oh, I bet you, stupid. I bet you there was a, a, a thousand people in that store. I, I'm not kidding. It was fucked up. I, 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 you only go like once. Hey, okay, Steve. Yes. Costco, Sam's, or Bucky's. Oh, it's gonna rinse. Costco. Up. But, uh, but hands down. empty, empty. Like empty. you're staying there for a week. If you had to pick one of the three, Bucky's. Where are you going? I'll Bucky's? go to Bucky's. At least they have clean bathrooms. Oh. It, that's true. Well, I, I, I guess I've never been to the bathroom in any. I'd like to Florida Costco bathroom. Costco bathroom. This has turned into like a free for all. But um, my favorite thing, my favorite truck stop is a Loves. So on my way to St. Louis, every time I drive shower. into St. Louis, I only stop at a Loves because they're clean and they feel safe when I travel alone. So I'm like, I only stop at Loves and I have them put into my GPS. I'm like, where's the next Loves? That's where where's I- Where's the Loves? You need the uh, Upside app. Loves is on there. Yeah. I only stop at Loves. Loves is on Upside? Loves. Yeah, Loves is on Upside, yeah. Ooh, Loves is fucking game great. Changer. Loves truck stops. Only places I will stop alone. 
the only Did you discount on the showers there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know about their goddamn showers. Well, if you're staying a week somewhere, you got a shower, right? I think we all have showers like that. I yeah. only stop at the loves. There's one outside of Effingham where it's, I mean, I work with people in Effingham, but, um, no, I only top of the loves. The loves are nice truck stops. Anyway, are nice. Right. I would agree with that. I like it's a nice establishment. Them and the Flying J's. That's the what we ate on. Jay's uh... a nice product too. Um, Tim, if you come to a Flying J in Hancock or Henry County, they're they're not up to par. They're Ooh. they're not. We make fun of those here, but uh, we, we make we fun do of them. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone does. Everyone does. Interesting. In on that note, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone discussion. drinking? Well, uh, let's start with McDill. McDill, what do you got? Um, so I have a Britain House rye from a neat bottle shop. They're oh. pink. Oh, yeah. nice! It's actually, a screw top. So screw top, oh. screw top. Wow, that was a good event, though, right, McNeil? Yeah, yeah. It was such a great event. It's such a fucking great thing, actually. We need to go to. Uh, they have a partnership with uh, uh, this Airbnb place that has like mm -hmm. nine uh, places. So yeah, they have this courtyard yeah. that that where there's an entry into neat. And then you that get like an ode to get into their place. It's so. I freaking. know we got to do that. Well, we just have so many events going on. I don't want to add yet another one in the mix. And I just like, to add my birthday, and you're like, oh, but we've been yeah. <laughs> I just want to keep doing events till Neil Robinson tells me to please stop. There's too many, so yeah, I'm just I'm trying to get to that point. Oh, Robinson yeah. screaming, Uncle! Oh, he he yeah he, he gave me the shakedown. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah he no. gave. No, big time. Um, I, I think we could, but the thing is, we would sell out that so fast. Um, I know, I know. I know. We'll so see how I, it goes. We um, might do that later this year. I it, think it you could have happen. to do like a, a lottery of like who signed up the fastest for the last five events, and that's who we're putting in the Airbnb. Yeah, well, oh, at least McNews all of a sudden signs up for stuff early. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Because here's the thing my fucking husband, I love him so much, but he was like, I want to do the things. And then his work schedule is bullshit, and he doesn't know if he can do the thing. So I'm like, I want to sign up without you. And if you come, you come. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna not go. miss things because you can't do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not letting him sandbag you. So you just sign up for it now and see what happens. Let it no, play if out. he can tag along, he can. If he can't, he can't. It's fine. Yeah, that's that's all, it's on him. All right, so the McNew had a screw top, no, no noise there. Let's go to Tim, who also will probably have no noise. So I'll probably that. have again no noise. I've got a Yellowstone single malt. Mm-hmm. Swipe right on the set. No. Nothing. Nothing. All right, KK. So you're loud, next. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. KK's next. All right. This is another Wollersheim, <clears throat> but it's their round top Stop. drive finished in pork barrels. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh ridiculous. That, ridiculous. That was a fine neaters type uh, yeah. quality there. Yeah. That was good. That's good. That's going to be tough to beat. Von Eaters, what do you got? Since we're talking about Florida, I have a Starlight Single Barrel Rye Whiskey Finished in Honey Barrels from a liquor store in Florida. Okay. Nope, okay. not much. Marginal, marginal. Uh, I'm going to do a bottle kill here. I have a 2022 Still 635 Year Rally Point Rye. Yeah. This is, this is the last of this one, so let's see what we got here. Man, that was some pretty good life left in what uh, is a pretty empty bottle, but not enough to win. Kathy, of course, had the win there, but I had a, I had a solid showing, so yeah. Cheers. Cheers, gang. Cheers, everyone. All right, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about what is your Florida. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staveandthief.com. 
Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. This is Willie C. Moore, and I'm here with MB Rowan, and you're listening to the Bourbon Kit <laughs> Daily. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about what is your Florida? Yes, we are. So the concept is I find Florida to be my place of reset, relaxation, to kind of start over, uh, recharge the batteries. What is it, what is it for you guys? What kind of helps you guys when you, things are getting stressful, you enjoy some time away, and where is that at? I took the question away differently. So did I. Okay. Nope. Florida. Um, I would say Florida is part of my reset. Like, like I, I, I think I agree with that, but also I would say Lake of the Ozarks is also one of my Lake of the resets. Ozarks. Lake of the Ozarks. Yes. No. So I took that. Like that was what Steve was asking. Where it's like, where do you go? Like, it doesn't have to be Florida. So Lake of the Ozarks is a good answer. Right. If that's your yeah. place. I was thinking like what, 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 like what part of Florida do you like to go to? That's what I originally thought. But yeah, so I, I guess I'm going Lake of the Ozarks then. If, if Lake of the Ozarks would get me angry. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's so crowded. So, it's just, if you're going during the peak time in the summer, God damn, it's crowded. For me though, like we have a family house that we go to. So it's like, uh -huh. we, you know, we have our own space where we don't have to be around all that if we don't want to, which, which I love crazy. those days to where... I love the days when we just have the family at the house. We all swim off the dock. We're drinking all day, barbecuing. Like that's 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 the it for me. It's it's hanging out with the family, having some cocktails, having some good food, just hanging out at the house, swimming, having a good time. That's that's it for me. That's your Florida, that's right? My there. reset. Florida. That's yeah. your that's your that's Florida. The, that's the answer. That's a good that's answer. The answer. Okay. All right, McDo. How about you? What is your Florida? So I don't have one. Oh no. No, because like Chris and I are like in a place in life like where his work schedule is stupid. We have so many dogs and cats. Like we have a zoo. We don't. We we can't vacation together, right? Like it doesn't work out. But I like a lake. So um, I know Indiana has like Wawasi, and we have um, Lake Michigan. So I'm looking for like some places there or there where we can just spend a weekend. So I'm looking for a weekend. So places. who who watches all these pets? You were is it your mom? Who's who's like uh, you no, were recently? My mom, my mom. I was gonna say absolutely fuck not. Um, so our neighbors do. We really love our neighbors. We have great neighbors. My brother will. Um, but um, no, yeah, our neighbors will. Um, I could see your brother have to do it because he's got like ten kids. So yeah, yeah, it's, no, like, and he I knows was, he's going to need a favorite. Like, so yeah. last last summer, so I hold this over his head because last summer he went to um, Mississippi, um, and I watched his dogs the whole time. So I'm like, yeah, you owe me. But um, no, so our neighbors will check in on them and like feed them and take them out. But we don't want to ask for that for a whole week. So we're in like a season of life, like where we can't take a week vacation. We could take a we could take a weekend. And that's fine. Uh, or I can go by myself and he can go by himself and that's fine. We're also I have no pets. Pet. It's fucking what? glorious. You can yeah, go where the fuck you so, want. 
You don't so have to worry also, about it. I, um, so I've been like really like no kids, no kids. Kids are a burden. Pets are almost worse. <laughs> yeah. You can get turtles. You can leave them for a week. They'll yeah. be fine. The thing with kids is they grow up and they get to a point where you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. I know. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. The, the pets are always the same. They're never going to grow up. They always need the same they're, amount they're of They're always going to be here. Yeah. And we have a big ass dog. Um, so most hotels are like 75 under. Oh, God. My, my, our don't get me started on people who bring their fucking are, dogs uh, on vacation. What is the I deal? Know. What has yeah. happened in America where everyone has to bring their dog on vacation? I want to bring a Bingo. pelican and start shooting these Bingo. dogs. I, there, there's, no. there's like, no. I go on vacation, there's like 40 dogs in the the fucking hotel it's like every room i i don't bring my dogs on vacation which has became the problem because i don't crate them so i can't board them and i don't trust people to come in my house so um we can only leave like 72 hours at a time together and um i don't have one but i i so i watched dirty dancing the other day where i'm like (laughs) There's like, there's like this little lake and a resort and a restaurant. Like, yeah, we can fucking do that for a weekend, like four days. We can leave the dog for the dogs with food and whatever for four days. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be fine. Like, new, how far, how far are you from like uh, Kentucky Lake and like Monroe Lake? You could totally yeah, go uh, to one of those I will places. Never go to Monroe. People die there. Um, I will go to Lake Wallowsee and I will go to Lake Michigan. Everywhere. Um, so those are what I'm looking at because there are things we could rent there. So. That's what I'm Monticello, Indiana. Is that a water park or something like that? Yeah, Lake no, uh, uh, Indiana Beach. Indiana Beach. There's more than Indiana Beach. Oh, you got to love Indiana uh, Beach. No, there you um, go. Beautiful. Actually, Lake Monticello is really nice if you rent a cabin or a house. But okay. the Indiana Lake Beach Monticello. is iffy. <laughs> Indiana Beach. Oh, I love my Indiana Beach. I'll tell you. All right, Tim, how about you, man? What's your Florida? Uh, my Florida is Chateau Swyatt. Um, we've got the screen and porches. We've got the deck. We've bought our I'm done house. You can take me out of here feet first. I'm going to die in this place. Uh, the beer's cheap. The whiskey's cheaper. Food's not bad. And I got a Costco five minutes from the house. Um, but, uh, outside of and everything I need, uh, and gas at Costco too, as well at seven 30 in the morning without a line, Steve. Um, Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I would say where I do, where I probably have vacation the most to outside of being a kid about like on our own with the general and I is we go to Kentucky. I love the two lane roads. Give me two lane roads anywhere. Get me off the highway. Get me anything. And uh, I would, love the road. Would you hills. ever rent a, a, um, a house on a um, Dale Hollow? Like Dale Hollow Lake's a Kentucky thing. Would you ever rent like a, a lake house? I have no problem with that at all. Yep. I, okay. I mean, I think that's fun. I did that. My ex boyfriend's mom had a house there, and it was it was the best fun. We we went for a weekend. I'm like, oh, it's great. Now, we rented a house in the Smokies before with a couple family members, uh, and did that whole thing. That sounds was fun. Sounds fun. But uh, I like get me off the road. Get me I like the Smokies. Yeah. Chattanooga yeah. gas stations with the picnic tables out front. And then I know that's the place where you go to get barbecue. You know, it's like get me off the road. Get me those places. Anything like that off the beaten path. That's where I'm oh, at. Yeah. I'm not in the big cities. Yeah. Yeah, not the big city. I don't like the big city. I don't want to feel like um, uh, we went to Venice and it was just too crowded. And it's like I, I want to be on vacation. I just want to unwind. I don't. I don't want to be fighting traffic and uh, yeah, finding parking spots. You know, I'll go to Venice. I'm uh, driving. It, 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 it took us like twenty minutes to find a parking spot. Yeah, I was like, ah, this is this isn't vacation for me. I, I I can I can do that shit at home. Oh. Yeah. So what what's your spot in Florida then? Well, I'm working on that. My, no. Mine was well, mine was Sanibel Island. That, that's where, but of course they got right. decimated by a hurricane. Uh, the place that we went to got got killed by the hurricane. Yep. Uh, and and you know they're they're starting to build it back, and some of the restaurants are opening back up and stuff like that. But it's really not what it was. So we're trying to find a new place. So we went to Venice, which uh, again, very nice place. So there's uh, there were some great places there. Just the traffic was bad. I did like we went to Crystal River, which was actually kind of nice, surprisingly nice. I like I like that place a lot. So that's yep. on the mix. Yeah. So Steve, give you a recommendation off there. My place is always walking. Where I'm like, we're not driving anywhere. We got to the hotel, mm-hmm. we parked, we're walking everywhere. I don't I don't want to drive. Driving is stressful for me. I don't want you to drive. Driving is stressful. Yeah, I get where that. Can we walk distance from the hotel. That is the Florida. Walking's good, that, yeah. That's the vacation. Yeah. I walked to this restaurant. It was next door. Great, good, great. That's where I yeah. want to go. I want to walk. I don't want to get an Uber. I don't want to pay for an Uber. I don't want to drive. 
Where can I walk? I'm with you on that. Like hmm. that we, we found a place uh, that we're going to go to next year. Again, trying to find our new Sanibel. Uh, eventually, I guess we'll go back to Sanibel, but for right now, we're avoiding it. Uh, 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 called Minnesota, which is a key, Minnesota key. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, that place sounds pretty cool. So it's it's uh, it, there, there's a hotel called the Pearl Beach Inn. Check that out. Uh, they have, literally, it's right on the beach. So if, if you're staying in uh, two of the rooms, it's kind of a... a a circular type of uh, shape to the hotel. Uh, there's two rooms that are literally right on the beach. You open your door and you are on the beach. I, I mean, and I, I booked one of those for next year already. I booked uh, a room um, at uh, on the Pearl Beach Inn that is literally right on the Gulf. So it's going to mm -hmm. be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, well, let's see. The Kill Key West thing was was a big eye opener. Like I've always, we, you know, the general and I worked too damn hard. Kids are finally getting older. We're starting to do this stuff. Key West thing is now a thing. So yeah, I'm already planning next year. I'm already we we found a nice resort that we really enjoyed before the event, and then and the hotel at the event was great too as well. Uh, I'd go back to that. We keep on falling back to these these small little pocket resorts that you stumble on. You give them a try. You just don't know. You try right. to. You look at the trip advice, You can get caught in all the reviews, but give some of these places a try. We stumbled on one. It was just like, oh my god, everything was perfect. Yeah, everything was perfect. God, I do love Key West. Everything it was great. I, There's not much better in the world, in my mind, than Key West in January. That, it's just that is the place to be. God, I love that place. Yeah. And yeah. my thing has always been like, okay, yes, I'm staying here, right? But like, I could stay anywhere. Are you giving me a free happy hour? A hotel gives you a fucking <laughs> free happy hour? I'm like wine, beer, whatever. Fucking give it to me. I'm going to yeah. stay here every time I come to the city. Like right. out of club quarters, I will always say to club quarters because um free happy hour. I'm gonna yeah. be there. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about Embassy Suites: free happy hour and free breakfast. Right. Yeah. 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 Talk about yeah. breakfast. I'm not awake for that. Yeah. Hurry in. They do Drury. happy hour and breakfast. Yeah, and dinner too. You can get dinner at uh, Drury Inn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Drury Inn's pretty good st louis space by the way uh kathy where is your florida what is what, what is the place you like to go to reset it always has water whether okay. it's ocean or lake okay beaches are good mm -hmm. um it's more about who's there what like how we're relaxing okay it's it's, okay. it's yeah it can be anywhere but you get that you know, life is good feeling. You're on the back of a boat and you're just kind of cruising along or you're right. on the ocean and you're just enjoying the water. It's, it doesn't matter where it is. It just needs to be with the right people That's in the true. right atmosphere. Yeah. Always good food and booze. Yeah. I like that philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, one day uh, Von Neters uh, will get to the point where he can come down to Key West with us in January. Yeah. Um, hopefully yeah. one day. Yeah. I hope it's, so. It's glorious, it's glorious, man. It really is. I will go there the rest of my life uh, in January. And uh, yes, I, I love it down there. So, And then eventually I'd like to get to the point in retirement where I spend like the whole winter in the Keys. Yeah, not necessarily always in Key West, but uh, in, in that area and just explore the Keys. I love the Keys. Well, so. you, you make a great point. It's one of the misses that I have from the whole COVID area, the whole C word. It's all these folks spent months in places because they could work remote. And me, the sucker sitting there at, at work every single day. You know, I, I was in the office, didn't work from home. I did everything I needed to do, you know, for the big corporate citizen to set, you know, that I'm fine with it. That, that's fine. But now I saw people that are staying a month or so, even after all this is done. It's like, no, we're back in the, no, I'm going to take a month and go with this place again, because I'm keeping that up now. And I'm like, God, was that a miss? And right. I was like, um, that's I, such I a miss. Because I, I've always been a work from home, and I'm like, Man, I really could have just, um, that could have been anywhere. That didn't could happen. Could have been anywhere. Yeah, I've got a close friend of mine who spent, she just spent a month down in Key West. A in month in Key West. Oh, old great. That was smart. I'd love yeah. to find a career where I can do to that. To actually work on anywhere. Like, you still work. need to put the hours in, right? Mm -hmm. McNeese was having your job in four hours. Yeah, yeah, it's um, different when you're you're in vacation mode when you walk out the door. It's just It just hits differently. No, changes because, latitudes, changes attitudes. Jimmy Buffett has it right. He's 100% yeah, he does, right. He does. He does. I, I Look, messed up for at least five years now where I'm like, I fucking could have done this anywhere. <laughs> and I'm still here. But I, do you I'm make, here. can you make enough money doing something like that to offset the cost of staying in yeah, a place sure. like that? 
Sure. Because no, I, I know I, I, I in my yeah, career so path, I can't. Indiana is very cheap to live in. It's very cheap to live here. Um, it's not cheap to live in Florida or Arizona or Palm Springs where I want to be. So <laughs> That's what I mean. So like, there's, there's so, a lot of there's a that. lot of jobs that uh, that do pay well that you can still work from home. I mean, my kids well, have, I'm a high paying job where she works from home. A person that has a child. But and I'm she's like, like a PhD in chemistry. Right. That's what well, I'm saying. What, like, but I'm saying, yeah. and, and not anybody can do that. I'm not saying everybody can do it, but I, but I am saying there are people that can make enough money they doing can. a remote job. Yeah. It just depends um, on what you do. But yeah. uh, Evan, in your, in your line of work, you never can because you're no. fixing automobiles. You, there's no such thing as a stay at home fixing right. automobiles. That's it's what, just not yeah. going to happen. Man. Well, yeah, yeah. And there is, but it's, it's a lot of work still. How, how the fuck do you how do you how do you fix my my car when you're staying at home? I don't understand that. Well, I mean, you do it out of your garage. Yeah, you you do it out of your garage and you own your own tools, and that's still expensive. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm that's saying. Right. Like, how do you how, how does how does one do this that not everyone can do it? That's what I'm. That's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like it's 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 really not for ev I'm anyone. Married to my husband who has a child here who doesn't believe that like spring breaks spring breaks and uh, planes exist i would be a west already so um you know i'm just here because he's here and i like my house and i like my dogs but, <laughs> um, <laughs> we can move we can just literally go yeah. anywhere i can work from anywhere because my job but i think anybody could do that i i not anybody, not anybody necessarily could. keeping the job anybody that you're doing but i think any skill set could find a job where they could uh yeah you, know, anybody you just got to get the right situation uh evan you could it'll be in a different field but you could get a job and i'm and i'm okay with that because i don't want to do auto body my whole life it's very right. physically demanding and right. well, and this well, is where we get the abv right. crew club and the barrel syndicate together we all have our different professions and we all move to the cayman islands because there's no taxes, no extradition, everything like that. We build our own little community. No extradition. Oh, let's, That's let's important. Get, let's let's get let's yeah. get this thing rolling. I'm ready. I, I I'm okay. ready. I, 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 I laugh do about my family. I can do health. I can do dental. I can do auto if I had to. I can help you. McNew can do auto. She's wrecked enough cars. She knows about. She knows it. how to do it now. Yes, yeah, she's figured yeah. it out. Hold sure. the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. She had a streak going of 16 years where she wrecked an automobile every year. Mm -hmm. She broke that the last couple of years. Yeah, so we we appreciate you, McNeil. Um, yeah. At my mom's on Friday, and we talked about all the cars I wrecked, and it was very humbling. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's why you're keeping us in business. We yeah. appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Well, she hates those insurance commercials. Right. The general. <laughs> She's got the general. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Eagle but... insurance. <laughs> So very cool. She has none. <laughs> she can't get it in. Anyway. She has no insurance. No insurance. So yeah. I think we have progressive right now. It seems like nobody has insurance. Mm. If it's you get hit by someone, I guarantee you they don't have insurance. They it's don't have insurance. I would agree with that. This this yeah. is the thing we talked about on Friday at Easter at my mom's was like the last time I got in a wreck, I were into somebody because I was drinking and she said, I don't have insurance. I said, Okay, good, great, babe, go. And she was like, Okay, great. And um yeah. It's illegal. Uh, it's illegal, but no one cares. They don't Nobody do anything cares. to you. Who cares? Who they cares? don't do anything to you. I, I found this out myself. My wife and uh, and daughter both Nobody got hit by uninsured motors. You know what happened to those uninsured motors? Nothing. Not Nothing. The the, the 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 guy who hit my wife or the woman, it was a woman that hit her. Uh, she lied about her insurance. She uh, she said she didn't have it. Her dad brought in uh, her dad brought in her, his own Nobody insurance cares. card. Said this is what her insurance. Nobody it was a lie, and then uh, and then it, it didn't you know wasn't it wasn't valid. The same thing with the kid that hit my daughter. Uh, same thing. He provided insurance at the accident when the police were there. Not valid. And they don't do anything to them. They don't go after them and be like, okay, you provided. It seems like that should be another charge. It seems like now she yep. get hit with the. Uh, not and you make sure charge. you get a picture of their license, you find out their address, and you visit their house with a baseball bat. Yeah, yeah. that would be, that'd be ideal. Well, we've, done, well, we've had some Florida. workers. Look at how wound up you all are. Yeah, and we need yeah KK, you look like you're you're out of it. What's no. going on? We should all go to bed because it's a fucking Monday and not a Friday. <laughs> this yeah. is all just a show about where's your Florida. It's Monday fun day. I'm ready for another episode. What are we talking about? Yeah. Oh my god. We got thunder and lightning happening over here. Oh, all right. There you yeah, go. it's That's tornado awesome. watch. I'm gonna be up all night. And what are we talking about here? Up, up all night. I'm gonna be, gonna be sitting gonna out be on the basement. deck after this. Oh, I thought you're gonna be in your basement sucking yeah. your thumb. Well, I'm in my basement now, not sucking my thumb. 
or yes. crying. It's he didn't say crying. Did you notice he didn't say crying? He's a, he's in his basement crying, but it's not so <laughs> That's it's after we get off the air. Fair yes. Enough. Well, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Von Neeters, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me crying in my basement and <laughs> on Instagram at Von Neeters. <laughs> KK. You can find me trying to find my happy place near the water or on Instagram at KK Castrength. All right. Swipe on the set. You can find me changing my attitude by changing my latitude at SwyGuy2112 and on YouTube at Our Flagship Whiskey. McNew. You can find me on a lake or tornado watching at McNew. AP. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find at Steve Akeley, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. That's when you got to check out everything that we do is out there. We put our previous shows, our blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see me, the ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy. KK's there all the time. Von Neeters is there all the time. Tim's there some of the time. McNew's there some of the time. So check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to so please give us a five star review that includes comments. Help see people on the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com <laughs> slash the <laughs> network. On that note, uh, we'll let you go for today. We'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then. Take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you're in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.